session is about reactive states. And uh, I'll introduce myself. I'm Mushtaq. I'm from ThoughtWorks Pune office. Uh, and I'm a big Scala enthusiast. Uh, I like to teach Scala and, and talk about Scala. And we are doing Scala projects in ThoughtWorks Pune a, a lot for past four years. So I'm driving, evangelizing that implementation. Uh, <coughs> about reactive streams, I mean, uh, wh what is the familiarity? I mean, have you heard of reactive streams and uh, some familiarity, reactive streams? OK, so I'll, I'll start with, uh, with uh, basics, right? So this work is, uh, uh, we are doing a prototype. Uh, we are doing a prototype for a customer. Uh, it's going to be open source eventually, so uh, that's why I can share this. Uh, and uh, while doing that, right, we, we use ACA streams and stuff like that. At that point, we, uh, I learned, personally, I learned that how, how interesting it becomes the moment you start using lazy, uh, lazy uh, streams or collections, right? <coughs> so far, I have been using, I mean, past four years, I have been using Scala collections. I mean, uh, how many of you are familiar with Scala and, and have used Scala to some extent, just some try, right? So Scala, if you use Scala, you use Scala collections. Like every other minute, you are writing something uh, using a Scala collection. And uh, that model is very simple, uh, but very powerful. Uh, what you do is, uh, for example, there is a, there is a disk uh, or a source somewhere. Uh, with data, uh, the, the first first linear graph says that if you want to just process that data, what do you do? You first read it. And then the, the three cells, they represent that, okay, data has come in memory. Right? So it's as simple as that and as dumb as that. right? So it's in memory collections. Uh, and then you do further processing, like square all the numbers, map, <coughs> dot map square, and the, you get yet another collection in memory. right? Uh, so, so that is how it works. And then finally, you say take two. And then you get the first two elements. Again, get another collection in memory. And then uh, <coughs> uh, these collections are immutable, uh, which, is, which is good, because then they can be freely shared. Uh, and we'll see that in the, in the next graph, right? How, how sharing is easy and, and, and uh, possible. Uh, but uh, but in-memory collections have, a, have a, a limitation, right? I think if my file is any decent file, of size, say, 1 GB. And I'm, I can't do this kind of a processing. So I have to, I have to use a different way of processing, not the Scala collections, in-memory collections. Right? Um, they also, at each point, they also allocate, <coughs> so they also allocate a new, uh, I think it's, can you, can you please reduce a bit? Uh, it also allocates a new uh, a set of collection after each processing. right? So if you have many steps, then there is a lot of garbage which is produced. Uh, another argument is that maybe because you're producing, you're, you have to iterate over each element. So for example,